Right, it's that time of year again where the Kagura bundle goes from £1,121 all the way down to £711. What a deal! And with the help of all of my friends, we found the top 15 games on offer. Number 15, Astronia. This open world base building game is of course set in space and is all about exploring different planets. Yes, the graphics aren't hyper realistic, but Astronia is 50% off now with the help of the Steam Summer Sale. So I'd say the gameplay and co-op possibilities abilities are well worth the $14.58 price. Number 14, Cyberpunk 2077. I'm sure you're already familiar with this RPG open world game, but probably for the wrong reasons. Upon its 1.0 release, it was hailed as one of the worst game releases of all time, but that's since changed, partly at least. On the 15th of February this year, the developers released patch 1.5. This update included numerous bug fixes, various improvements to quests, amongst other things, and positive features feedback is actually flowing in. Of course, it still isn't perfect, but the sale has cut Cyberpunk's price in half, all the way down to $30.65. So is it time for round two? Number 13, Subnautica Below Zero, the iconic ocean world sequel to Subnautica. This qualifies as a horror game, by the way. And if you're scared of the ocean, I wouldn't go anywhere near this. It's 50% off, meaning its price is down to $15.32. If you're stuck for new survival games and need something refreshing, then maybe this is the move. Number 12, Monster Hunter Rise. I wanted to include tons of different genres in this video, so here's an action RPG for you. Monster Hunter Rise is all about taking down monsters together with friends. The graphics are reasonably old fashioned to be honest, but if you enjoy anime, you'll probably like this game. This game has positive reviews absolutely everywhere, literally. It has an 86 positive review ratio on Steam, which is very impressive. It still has active development and looks to be a really chill escape from the real world. The original price for Monster Hunter Rise was $61. Yeah, not cheap. But as the 50% sale has now knocked the price down to $31, I think it might be worth it. Number 11, City Skylines. Another iconic game, this time all about building up your own city. I know we've all had dreams of building and owning our own cities, right? Or is that just me? So I'm going to be buying it. And the new price of $7 definitely cemented its place in this video. This is arguably one of the best deals in the entire Steam Summer Sale, mainly because of how many hours as you can sink into this game. But it has to be said, a lot of content in this game is hidden behind DLCs. I don't like this approach at all, to be honest, but even without any additions, the game is still packed full of content. Number 10, Stellaris, an award-winning sci-fi strategy game with crazy looking visuals. Lead empires throughout space, explore different planets. There is just so much to do in Stellaris. You gradually unlock more technology, meet new species of aliens, and even manage diplomacy across the entire solar system. You you can genuinely manage entire colonies and who doesn't want that kind of power? As long as you're responsible with it, of course. The original price of Stellaris was a bit steep at $42, but with the 75% sale, it's been knocked all the way down to $11. Now that's still not cheap, but for all of the available content in this game, it's entirely worth it. Especially if you're a fan of space games like No Man's Sky, for example. Number nine, Satisfactory. The open world factory building game set on an alien planet. This is possible one of the best available building games out there, of course made by Coffee Stain Studios. It doesn't stop there though, there's tons of exploration and combat as well, making this essentially an easy survival game. Anyways, if you enjoy automating absolutely everything, then you've got to give this game a go. The Steam Summer Sale has also knocked Satisfactory's price down a reasonable 40%, making its new price tag $21. Satisfactory is one of those games that is totally worth it even without the sale, so now that it's almost half the price, it's definitely going in a lot of people's libraries. Number 8, Dead by Daylight. One of the most popular games on Steam all about a 4 vs 1 where one player takes the role of a killer with the aim of taking down the other 4 players before they escape the map. This game is so much fun with friends. Even if it takes a while to become really good, I still enjoyed it. And for someone who is very jumpy, this is one of the scariest games on Steam, especially when you're bad at it. I mean, you can literally get chased by a guy who's 8 foot tall holding a massive hammer. If you want to actually get into this game though, I'd recommend checking out some of the Dead by Daylight YouTubers, because there are some crazy good players out there. The price is now $7.35 thanks to the 60% summer sale, and that's a very good price. Number 7, DayZ. Surely you've heard of this one, but hear me out, DayZ might be buggy, it might be slow paced, and even if you spent 2 hours crossing the entire map, you might die from a bullet to the head thanks to a sniper 300 meters away in a tiny bedroom with the smallest window ever, but it's fun. Seriously. 
admittedly, this game isn't perfect by any stretch, but something about the experience you can have or friends you can meet make me love this game. Daisy is the harshest survival game I know. You can break your legs, kill animals, make clans, build bases, destroy bases, and of course, run away from zombies. If you haven't tried Daisy before, it's on a 40% sale right now, and the new $25 price tag should tempt you at least a little bit. Number six, Ghostwire Tokyo, an iconic open world action game. You'll be using elemental abilities to try save Tokyo from some supernatural forces. It might be haunted and it might be scary, but the graphics provide some crazy immersion. It has to be said though that the story is sadly reasonably short, providing only a few hours of guided gameplay, but that shouldn't limit you. Most people have agreed that this game is more than worth it on a sale, as the original price tag of $61 is a little excessive. But thankfully, the Steam Summer Sale has come in clutch once again and cut that price in half, making it an acceptable $30. Number 5, It Takes Two, an award-winning puzzle game that you've got to try out if you haven't already. In fact, I haven't yet played it and that'll change this summer. It has some of the best reviews on Steam and that's for good reason. If you plan on playing this with a friend, only one of you has to buy it, which is one of the best ideas I've ever heard of. The storyline is too good not to talk about though. Without spoiling it one bit, it's a very heartfelt story all about overcoming differences with teamwork. On top of all of that, It Takes Two's 60% sale has made the price a reasonably cheap $17. Number 4, Stardew Valley, one of the best reviewed survival games of all time. If you need something peaceful, maybe an escape from reality, just to set up a little farm and grow it into a massive empire, then you should probably give this game a go. I feel like most people have to go through their addicted to Stardew Valley phase, where they do absolutely everything there is to do instead of revising for important exams. Anyways, with its 40% sale, it's now $8, and that's one of the best deals on this list, considering how many hours you could sink into this game. Number 3, Sea of Thieves. Ever thought of what it might be like to be a pirate? Well, that's what this game is all about. You'll essentially own your own ship, take down others who look a little richer using your cannons, and hoard any loot you find. I remember staying up till 4am on Twitch watching Summit1G play this game, and while it has changed a lot since then, the core principles have remained the same. Not only can you have funny encounters with other players, but there are also bosses that'll spawn completely randomly, meaning you should probably be ready for absolutely anything in this game. With some pretty cool updates just around the corner, it's a good time to pick up Sea of Thieves. And with that juicy 50% off sale, it's now $21, and that's a good deal. Number two, Rust. I had to include it. I'll tell you right now that Rust isn't for the lighthearted, and you shouldn't buy it thinking you'll have loads of fun. I know that sounds dumb, but you'll probably hate it at first, because I did. It's generally because it's quite unforgiving. Make sure you start off on a roleplay server, or somewhere where there aren't players at every turn, because the last thing you want is a 20-man clan rolling up on you with full AK's metal armor while you've only got a hatchet chopping down your first tree. Honestly, Rust has so many features, a pretty crazy looking world, and I'll shamefully admit it, I'm addicted to Rust at the moment. And it's because of the feeling you get when you stay persistent, ignore all the things that went bad, and eventually, after going insane a couple times and after many hours and sometimes days, you might have the chance to actually do some raiding yourself. The Steam Summer Sale has cut the price in half, down to $21.45, making it totally worth it. Number one, Green Hell, an open world survival game that I still think is heavily underrated. Released all the way back in 2019, the game plunges you into the Amazonian jungle and forces you to use very realistic survival techniques and approaches to make sure you actually survive. Player psychology is big in this game, and that's something you don't see very often. You've genuinely got to keep your player's mental health in check, which makes complete sense given you're entirely alone in a massive jungle with dangers all around you. Green Hell is currently 30% off, thanks to the Steam Summer Sale, making it $16.73. Now, that's a good price for something that you'll probably enjoy, especially if you're going to bring friends along. 